In this video, I'm going to show you what is composition and how to use class composition in Python. So to start with, I have two classes here. One is an employee class and other is the salary class. Now in the salary class, I have this init method, which takes two argument pay and bonus, and it sets these two arguments to the member variables of this class. Also, I have a method called annual salary, which is used to calculate the salary. Now in the employee class, I have this constructor, which takes four arguments, which is name, age, pay and bonus. Now, what do you think? Can we apply inheritance here? The answer is no, because there is no is a relationship between salary and employee. So employee is not a salary and salary is not an employee. But somehow I want to delegate the responsibility of calculating the employee's salary to the salary class because calculating salary is in itself is a big task. I have just simplified this uh, class in the form of just calculating the annual salary. But the employee can have his own taxes or he has taken some leaves or many factors affects the salary of an employee. So this salary calculation, let's say we want to delegate to the salary class, but whose salary is this? This salary is the employee's salary. So we know that we cannot use inheritance here, but we can use a concept called composition here. And the composition means that we are just delegating some responsibility from one class to the another class. So how to delegate this responsibility? We can uh, just create one uh, more variable here. For example, self dot obj underscore salary, which is the salary object we are going to create using the salary class. Okay. And this salary class takes two parameters. One is pay and other is bonus, which we are already providing using the employee init method. So I'm going to just pass this pay comma the bonus into the salary class. So we are instantiating the salary class inside the employee class. So here one class, which is an employee class acts like a container of the other class, which acts like a content. Okay. So salary class is the content and the employee class is the container of this salary class. Now, in order to calculate the total salary, we can define one more method here. And I'm going to just say total underscore salary. And then what we are going to do is we are going to call our object salary member variable because this gives us the object of the salary. So I'm going to just call object salary and we can call this method from the salary class, which gives us the annual salary. And now I'm going to just create the object of this employee class. So let me just write EMP is equal to employee, which takes four parameter. First is name. Second is the age. Third is the pay. So let's say pay is 15,000 and the bonus is 10,000. And now I just want to print the total salary of this employee. So I can just write print and then EMP object dot the total salary, which is total salary method. And you can see here this total salary is returning. Let me just use the return keyword also because we are returning this annual salary from the salary class using this total salary method. So let's run the code once again and let's see what happens. And you can see annual salary is printed and this annual salary is calculated using the salary class. So what this employee class has done, it has delegated some responsibility to the other class, which is the salary class, which gives us the annual salary of an employee. And this here is called composition. Now, one interesting thing which you will notice here is we are not instantiating salary here. We are just instantiating the salary inside an employee class. So as soon as you delete 
an instance of an employee, the salary class instance will be automatically deleted. So whenever you want to delegate some responsibility of one class to the another class, it's called composition. One more example of composition can be a book class and a chapter class. So a chapter is not a book and book is not a chapter, but we can delegate some responsibility from a book class to the chapter class. So this is how you can use composition in Python. Now in composition, the relationship between the classes which have some association is represented by a keyword part of. So salary is the part of employee. So the keyword we use in composition is part of. Now let's see how we can use aggregation instead of composition between these two classes. So let's say I will not use this salary class inside the employee class, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass an instance of salary here. So I'm going to just write salary and this will be the object of salary class, which I'm going to pass in the init method of the employee class. So let's create an object of the salary. So I'm going to just write salary here is equal to the salary class and we will instantiate the salary class by these two argument which we have given in the last video to the employee class. So I'm going to just copy these two arguments and paste it here and I'm going to remove this comma here. So now what we are doing here is we are first of all instantiating the salary class and now the salary class we can pass to the constructor of the employee class and this is the object which we have passed using the salary class object and then I'm going to take the salary class object and I'm going to assign the salary class object to the member variable of the employee class which is obj underscore salary now because we are passing the salary object that means this member variable is the salary member object and we can call any public method from the salary class using this member variable now so let's run the code and let's see what happens and we get the same result as we have seen in the last video in the composition example so what we have done differently here so instead of using the salary class inside the employee class, we have first created an instance of the salary class and then we have passed this instance to the employee constructor, which can be used inside the employee class. And this type of relationship is called aggregation. Now let's see what are the special properties of the aggregation. The first property is the relationship between the associated classes in aggregation is defined by the keyword has a. So employee has a salary because now we are first of all creating the salary object and then passing it to the employee. So now we are not directly using salary inside the employee class. The second property of aggregation is the associated classes have unidirectional association. So we are just passing salary object to the employee class. We are not passing employee object to the salary class. So it's a unidirectional association. Only salary can be passed to employee, not the other way around. And the third property of aggregation is we have created the salary object and the employee object. So both these objects are independent of each other. So if one object dies, the other survives. So both the object are able to survive individually. So these are the three properties of aggregation. Now let's see the difference between the composition and the aggregation. So I'm going to split the screen. So I'm going to just right click on this tab and I will say split vertically. And here I'm going to open the example of the composition. So on the right hand side, I have the example of composition and on the left hand side, I have the example of aggregation. Let me just maximize this so you can see it. And now let's discuss about the differences between the composition and aggregation. So the relationship in composition 
is defined by a keyword called part of so salary is the part of employee in aggregation there is no part of relationship but the relationship is defined by the keyword called has a so now in aggregation we are defining the instance of salary and then passing it to the employee class and salary is not the part of the employee class we are just passing it to the employee class so aggregation we use has a relationship and in composition we use part of relationship the second difference is when you delete the employee object the salary object will be automatically be deleted so salary object is dependent on the employee class but in aggregation the salary object and the employee object are individually independent so they can survive individually if one object dies then it doesn't matter that the other object dies because we have created these object individually now in composition both salary and employee are interdependent on each other but in aggregation the relationship is unidirectional so the, the association between the employee and the salary object is unidirectional we can only pass the salary to the employee class but we cannot pass the employee object to the salary class so these are the three major differences between composition and the aggregation i hope you have learned something new this time and i will see you in the next video